Welcome to Equivalent Decimals. And obviously, in this video, we are going to be going over equivalent decimals. One of the main and very, very important building blocks to everything decimals when it comes to comparing, ordering, multiplying, dividing, adding and subtracting decimals, equivalent decimals come into play. So we need to know what equivalent means and what equivalent decimals mean, uh, how to recognize equivalent decimals, and how to use placeholder zeros in order to make equivalent decimals. Okay, so we have a couple of guiding questions up top. Are 5 tenths and 50 hundredths equivalent? How about 5 tenths and 5 hundredths? And then down below, we have three pairs of decimals, and we are going to determine if they are equivalent and why or why not. So the first thing we want to start with is the word equivalent. What does equivalent mean? Think to yourself, what does it mean? Hopefully you are thinking of the word equal, right? Two things that have the same value, that are worth the same thing. So let's start with our um, first question here. Are 5 tenths and 50 hundredths equivalent? Or do they share the same value? Now you might be thinking to yourself, obviously not. A 5 and a 50 don't share the same value. Well, that would hold true for whole numbers, right? If you're thinking five bucks and 50 bucks, definitely not the same value. Five and 50 are not worth the same thing. They are not equivalent. But decimals are a little bit different than whole numbers, okay? I'm gonna convert both of these to a fraction to kind of help us with this concept. Five tenths would look like that. Five out of 10 makes sense, right? And 50 hundredths, would look like this, 50 out of 100. Do you notice anything about those two fractions? Maybe you're thinking to yourself, they are both half, and that would be correct. Five out of 10 is half, and 50 out of 100 is half. Both those fractions have different names, but in the end, they, are both, they both have the value of one half. They are equivalent, and same holds true for these two decimals. Five tenths and fifty hundredths are equivalent, okay? And here's how we can determine that. They both have a five in the tenths place, okay? Same digit, same place. And we're to the right of the decimal, remember. Zeros to the right of the decimal, like this one here, to the right of that five tenths, does not change the value of this five it's still worth 5 tenths. It changes the name to 50 hundredths, but that decimal is still worth 5 tenths. It might have a different name. Zeros to the right of a decimal do not change the value. I can add as many zeros as I want to the end of this 5 tenths, but in the end, the value stays the same. Those zeros are just sitting in a place. Like this one here, 5 tenths. I can change that to 500 thousandths. But in the end, my value is still the same as 5 tenths. I can take zeros away that are to the right of a decimal, and it does not change the value. My fives are still sitting in that tenths place, so they are equivalent. Let's go to uh, 5 tenths and 5 hundredths. I'm going to line those up. Now, do both of those have a 5 in the tenths place? No, this 5 is in the tenths, this is in the hundredths. This 0 right here is very important because it changed the value of that 5. It pushed it one place to the right. So it changed the value of that 5. Only 5s to, or I'm sorry, only zeros to the right of a decimal don't change the value. If you start moving digits to different places, yes, that will change the value, okay? So these are not equivalent. These two decimals are 5 tenths and 50 hundredths. These are not, okay? So hopefully right now you picked up that zeros to the right of a decimal do not change the value of a number. That's where you should be at right now. So let's do the three below 
to nail home this concept. We have six tenths and six hundredths. Do you think those are equivalent? Hopefully you said no. Here we have a six in the tenths, and here we have a six in the hundredths. This would be like six out of ten, six tenths, and this is six out of a hundred, six hundredths. Right? Those are not equal in value. This zero pushed that six to the right, so it changed its value. These are not equivalent. Now, if we had six tenths and sixty hundredths, these would be equivalent because we have a six in the tenths and a zero to the right of a decimal, which does not change its value. So these are not equivalent. Let's try one and seventy-five hundredths and one and seven hundred fifty thousandths. We have one hole. They both have a hole, equivalent. They both have a seven in the tenths, still equivalent. They both have a five in the five in the hundredths, still equivalent. And this one has a zero to the right, which does not change its value. I could add as many zeros as I want. It does not change its value. So these are equivalent. Yes, they are equivalent. Okay, and let's try number three. We have 88 hundredths and 88 thousandths. Let's see, eight in the tenths, zero in the tenths. So hopefully you're recognizing that these are not equivalent. Okay, 88 hundredths and 88 thousandths are not equivalent, right? You can see right here in the tenths place. They both have eights, but they're in different places, right? This zero right here pushed the 88 to different places, so it's not equivalent. If we had, let's take a look above. If we had 88 hundredths and 880 thousandths, these would be equivalent though, because all we did here would be putting a zero to the right of that 88, which does not move any of the numbers to different places, so it does not change its value, okay? So those are the basics of equivalent decimals, which you will be using, like I said at the beginning, ordering, comparing, multiplying, dividing, adding, and subtracting decimals, okay? And those placeholder zeros are definitely going to come into play. So if you think you have equivalent decimals down, go ahead and check out the mastery check, which I dropped the link below in the description. So go ahead and click on that and see if you know your stuff when it comes to equivalent decimals. I'll see you over at the Mastery Check. Thanks for watching.